Tornado reports in the United States have been rising over the last 30 years in sync with the warming of the atmosphere. But that could simply be a result of more witnesses, more storm spotters. But now researchers at the University of Northern Illinois have discovered a link between the tornado increase and climate change by using a new computer modeling technique. It focuses on the destructive rotating thunderstorms known as supercells. I'm not saying that every supercell is going to produce a tornado. But, you know, the relationship is quite strong that tornadoes, particularly violent ones and strong and, and significant ones, are produced by supercells. Professor Walker Ashley says it was supercell tornadoes that were responsible for the devastation from Arkansas to Tennessee over the past several days. And his study shows that those supercell thunderstorms will only get more common as the atmosphere warms. You know, it's more than just a change in risk. Let's say we're dialing up the risk one, two, three, five percent. You know what has created and exacerbated the impacts is the, the hundred times fold of people across the landscape, the ex, what we call the expanding bullseye. Ashley says his research shows that the supercell increase will continue to target the so-called new tornado alley. That includes the southern states, the Ozark Plateau, the Tennessee and Ohio Valleys, along with parts of the lower Midwest, a part of the country that's more densely populated and he says has infrastructure that's less prepared to withstand violent storms. The study shows an opposite trend in places like Kansas, Oklahoma, and Colorado, which could get a decrease in supercells over time. And so it is not saying that supercells are going to stop in eastern Colorado. They're going to occur. They're just going to occur at a, at, a, at a smaller frequency. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.